Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Nita's Glam World. If you are new here, hi, I am Nita and thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to share with you these brownish bronzy smoky eyes with darker lips. This is basically a Durga Puja makeup tutorial. I created this look keeping in mind Durga Puja shop to me. You can definitely wear this look in any parties or any occasions and this goes really well with both western and indian outfits so if you want to know how i created this look then please keep on watching first i'm going to moisturize my face with the saint ivy's moisturizer i'm just applying this moisturizer all over on my face and neck and i'm just blending it out with my fingers makeup sits really well on a well moisturized face so always moisturize your face before applying foundation next for my primer i'm going to use this maybelline master prime primer and i'm just applying it all over on my face and neck and i'm just spreading it out with my fingers i'm not rubbing it at all i'm just slightly spreading it out all over this is a very nice primer and this does smooth out your skin really nicely. For my foundation, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation and I'm in the shade 128. I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck. Then I'm going to blend it out with my damp beauty sponge. This foundation shade is a little lighter than my skin tone but we have to make it work right now i'm just blending it out with my damp beauty sponge now what a damp sponge means is what i do i just hold it under running water for about 10 seconds then i squeeze out every bit of water from it again i place it on a dry towel then i just squeeze out every water so that's a damp sponge for me i'm just blending everything out Now for my concealer, I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm in the shade Natural. I'm just applying it under my eyes, on my eyelids to create a nice base for my eyeshadows. This is again a full coverage concealer. I'm also highlighting the sides of my mouth and chin, bridge of my nose, center of my forehead and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Again I'm blending everything out with the same beauty sponge. I always like to blend my under eye concealer later because this way it gets some time to settle down and it gives better coverage so that's a nice trick Again, always blend your highlighting concealer really well, otherwise it doesn't look good at all. Now for setting my whole face, I'm just using this Varathan Doris Loose Powder in the shade 07. 
and with my damp beauty sponge i'm just pressing the powder wherever i concealed i like to set my concealed areas this way it ensures that that everything is locked and nothing is creasing I'm also going to set my face with the same powder. For that I'm just using a fluffier powder brush and I'm just taking a very little product and setting my face and neck because this is a matte foundation. So I do not want to set all my face with a tons of powder. Now for my eyes I'm taking this lighter brown shade from my Maybelline Nudes palette and I'm just applying it as my transition shade. I'm slowly building up the pigmentation taking little by little product so that there is no patchiness at all. Now I'm taking this darker brown shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my crease. Again I'm just slowly buffing it in. Once that is done, I'm just blending everything out with a fluffier blending brush so there is no harshness at all. Now I'm taking this darkest brown shade and I'm going to apply it on my outer V area in a V shape like this. It just gives your outer V area or your eyes a nice depth. Again, I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation because I do not want any patchiness or any harshness. And darker eyeshadows take time to get like blended. So if you are taking a lot of product at a time you will definitely have hard time to blend it so always take little by little product and build up the pigmentation once that is done I'm just blending it out again so there is no harsh line now I'm applying that same darkest brown shade that we applied on the outer V area on my lower lash line with a smaller brush to make everything look put together. Now I'm taking this dark bronzy kind of a shade from my Sivana color brick highlighter palette and I'm just applying it on the inner third area of my eyes. This highlighter palette is really awesome. I think you should give it a try. This is inexpensive and this does wonder. I'm just slowly applying it with a flat brush. Now I'm just blending everything out with the same blending brush.
Now for my eyeliner, today I'm going to use this Maybelline Gel Eyeliner With a dried felt tip eyeliner, I'm just creating a thin wing I like to apply a gel eyeliner with a dried felt tip eyeliner this way I think it is easier to apply I'm just elongating the inner corners and I'm also applying this on my waterline this is a very long lasting eyeliner and it doesn't bleed and it is really good for your waterline as well I'm also tight lining with the same gel eyeliner and I'm using the brush that comes with it now I'm just quickly filling up my brows with, with this essence eyebrow pencil in the shade dark chocolate I'm just outlining my eyebrow first then I'm going to fill it the gaps using smaller strokes Now I'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no patchiness. Now I'm just setting my brows with the Essence Brow Mascara in the shade Brownie Brow. This has fibers in it and this helps your brow to stay in its place for all day long. Now I'm taking this shade, I mean the second shade from the bottom from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my brow bones to highlight them and I'm also applying it on my inner corners. Now I'm just quickly curling my lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying tons of mascara by the way this is Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara I'm not going to use any falsie if you want to use falsies then go ahead and apply them but I am not going to apply falsies today I'm just coating my upper and lower lashes really nicely Then I'm using this Makeup Revolution Duo Face Sculpt and with that dark brown color I'm just contouring the parameters of my face like the hollows of my cheeks, forehead, my jawline to hide all those double chins and with a smaller eyeshadow brush I'm just contouring my nose. I'm just blending everything out with the damp sponge and I'm going to bronze up my face using this Milani bronzer in the shade 04 glow and I'm just bronzing up my cheeks my forehead and everywhere this is a really nice bronzer and I do not feel like wearing blushes whenever I am applying this bronzer. This has a really nice warm tone to it and it makes your skin look healthy and glowy. I'm quickly removing my lip balm. For my lipstick, I'm applying this color bar lipstick in the shade Pink Alert or Pink Shock. I cannot really remember. I think this is like too pink for this look. 
so i just applied that color bar liquid lipstick in the shade hot a latte i think this lip shade looks perfect with those eyes now for my highlighter i'm using that same shade that i used for my brow bone or inner corner i'm just highlighting my cheekbones chin cupid bow bridge of my nose just above my eyebrows this is a stunning highlighter i'm again blending everything out i'm just quickly setting my face using this l'oreal infallible makeup setting spray and again i'm bouncing my beauty blender so there is no excess powder so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did then please subscribe to my channel and inspire me to grow more if you have any video request then please do let me know i'll be more than happy to make it for you if you are not following me on instagram facebook and twitter then please do follow me there all my social media link will be given in the description bar below so please check that out so see you in my next video till then bye